Welcome back to Elden Ring. Two fingers? Hmm. Pink and stinky? Pinky and stinky okay? Although, that's right, we do have a new thing. Uh, We had this thing. The Regal Ancestor. What do you make? Winged Great Horn. Distinctive horn suffused with the power of ancestral spirits. This large winged shape uh, specimen is wielded as a weapon of spirit worship. In the ancestral spirit worshipping faith, these are considered envoy's wings, made to reap the lives of beings which experience no sprouting. Unique skill, soul st uh, stifler. Raise the great horn's wings to summon a soul-sapping miasma. Enemies in the affected area will temporarily suffer from reduced defense. Interesting. I always thought it was miasma. I've heard both. Mm. Uh, it's a great axe. Mm, 30 strength, 20 dex. We do have enough dex. Interesting. Okay. All right. This is a straight talisman then. Restores FP upon defeating enemies. Hmm. Uncuff the horns of a regal ancestor spirit. Restores FP upon defeating enemies. A number of new growths bud from the antler like horns of the fallen king each glowing with light. Thus does new life grow from death, and from death one, pains, one obtains power. Interesting. Uh, honestly, both I don't think are really useful to us. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, no new equipment, really. It's all still these two. Okay. Alright, nothing else. All right, well, no little D. No idea where he's hiding. No idea when he'll show up again. Mm. How tenacious of him. Yes, isn't it, though? So Perhaps they'll how, challenge the devil. How about that area with the three fighters? Uh, Well, I wanted to check out one other thing, because there's a gate here that's open now. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, and I can't summon Torrent in here still, which is a little bit annoying. So I don't know where this gate is. She's here. Oh. Hello, Fia. Do we talk to her? I'm going to. What the fuck do you want? Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes? of the Golden Order. That's right. I feel like this is a diverging path. Do you want to look up Fia's quest line and just tell me what happens here? Because it seems like it's either a I get to join or I make an enemy of them. Uh and I'm feeling like this might also be a potential ending. Are we at the Sophia River? No, we're at deep depth. Uh, I can walk away. No just. We're at the Prince of Death's throne. That's what this is called. So this must be the original god or whatever he was slash is. Uh, Fia will be present sitting below good Godwin's corpse on the fallen will of the area. Um, speak to her again. We'll have the option to have her hold you, which will provide a powerful buff with no debuff. Okay. Um, it doesn't say any. Ah, uh, I knew you. But you're right. This somehow is towards. A different ending. I thought so. Alright. 
so we could just ignore her. What what is the buff? Is it, is it like the previous thing we got? <clears throat> Reading directly from IGN, speaking to Fia again will allow you the option to have her hold you, which will provide another powerful buff. Does not tell you specifically. Nope. Maybe you should look at Thextra Life. And not just RGN, which doesn't tell you what it is. Uh. Or the wiki on Fia? Yeah, I don't know. Uh. And. We are. Oh, she's blonde haired. Didn't notice that before. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Fia's champions will sp will spawn. Uh. Bring back the curse mark of death. Will nearly end her quest. After you give it to her, she will give the player a radiant. Baldachids. I think, I think you're too far ahead. Okay, uh... After the, the champion's it, boss fight, if that helps okay. at all. That is the next bullet point. Okay. So, repeat it. So, after the fierce champion's bullet point, bring, bring, uh, bringing back the curse mark of death will nearly end her quest. It does not say anything about her here and the two options. Weird. Mm. Let me do a like little little looky loo. Because like this just seems to be for an ending. So if we make a enemy of her, all we all we're losing is the potential of an ending, it seems. Because like uh, what are dance. you majorly looking for? So here's what it's telling me. Upon looking uh, talking to her, telling her that you want to be hugged will trigger the next step of her quest. Oh, uh, where are where are you looking at? Fextra life. Oh. Huh. I'm also looking at Fextra life, Fia. Uh. Oh no, that's different. Yeah, no, I'm looking at uh the section where it says Fia quest line, how to complete Fia's quest. Ah. Upon talking to her, tell her that you want to be hugged during the next step of her quest. Asking you to find the curse mark of death that you uh, that you get while going through Ronnie's quest. If Fia is not there, she has already killed D, disappeared from the round table hold. And take a few extra steps in the quest line. Go kill the valiant gargoyles. Rest in the coffin. And deep root death, they may appear. Alternately, I can get access to your deaths by revealing two illusory rolls just south of the Frenzy Flame proscription. I've not been there, so I don't know how that works. Mm. Interesting. And, okay, so you, you were farther up than I was, and then I'm seeing... Bringing back the curse mark of death would nearly end her quest. Okay, so the question now becomes, do we want to progress her quest line and just nix it then, I guess? So, whatever you want, dude. I'm willing to continue it so long as it doesn't complicate another quest. Uh... 
Like, I'm still planning to go the Ronnie route. But as long as it doesn't mean, like, fucking with that route before we get there, I'm willing to keep going. And it doesn't look like it does yet, anyway. I knew you would what is it to you to deny like the So I'm going to continue for now. Okay. You are an odd one. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? So you there will be no debuff. All right. Have you ever seen a Hallowbrand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hold. But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a hollow brand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half wheel wound of the centipede. Uh -huh. And I must find it. Before the time comes, my hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you? Even then? This is the other hollow brand. How did you. Oh, my utmost thanks. With this. Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and hmm. claim a second illustrious life. You are my, our true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. Breaks your spine. Yeah, right. Okay. Snaps my neck. <laughs> Radiant Baldekin's Blessing. I will soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me. The new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods, as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming... Our Elden Lord. I will soon let to conceive brandish my rune. Stay the birth by becoming. All right, so that sounds like if I equip the rune and do whatever I need to do to become Elden Lord, it'll be that ending. Yeah. Okay, so understanding that it's a unique rune that'll lead to an ending. All right. And that'll probably be the way most of them work. Yes. Except. Okay. For the quote unquote main ending, because I know there's four endings, three of which may require, well, definitely three of which require a special rune to do so. Mm -hmm. And then there's the two other endings. I know, like, if you go insane at one point and go along with the three fingers and like burn the world down like that's an ending and i know ronnie's ending is a ending of his own so oh shit we still have the original baldican's blessing wait what's the other one oh radiant, radiant. Baldican. yeah sorry continue you were saying about going along with ronnie yeah, but, so those are like the six endings as of now. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's remind myself what the original is. Favor bestowed by a deathbed companion, protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. FP boosts, uh, uses FP temporarily boost poise. The favor allows one to forget any aches and pain. In death, there is only peace, for in death, there can be no sensation. Okay, so in Radiant, it's protection, yada, yada. In the guys of Vid Chamber, this blessing is of utmost radiance. Use FP temporarily raise poise. The, increase, the effect increases last. Uh, the effect lasts longer than a mere favor. 
It is said a deathbed companion will only produce a blessing of this kind for a champion but once in her entire life. The sole blessing which she imbues of her own volition. That also makes it sound like this is only ever going to happen once. I'm just going to get rid of this one right away because the why not. All right. Uh, uh, it, um, if you go away from the area and come back, you can have an optional boss fight giving you the Thea's ending rune. Let me see if I get anything else here for a second. I just want to see if there's any extra dialogue before I move on. Okay, so she'll just give me the regular one again. Okay. And I'm not too sure if you can get more than one mending rune. Like, if you can pick up all three, potentially four, in one run, or since you're going to pick up this one, will it be locking out all the others? Don't know. Alright, so I teleported out. So we'll see if anything has changed. It looks uh, like she, the grace is she, still there. She will be asleep. Okay. Should be. Enter. No, you should talk to her. No, um, inspect her. And then you will be able to enter her dreams. We'll find out in a minute. It doesn't look like she's asleep, though. Nope. Same thing. Still be oh. held. Okay. Has not changed. Okay. Well, it says exhaust her dialogue, so... I did. Mm. She's just talking in circles again. Okay. Alright. Through the gate we go, then. Off to the great unknown! Ooh. Where am I going? Oh! 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 Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Co-op. Was not expecting to get here. Is this supposedly the end game place? Uh, is it the capital city? Hmm. It's like a dream. What? It's like a dream. Rolling. Yeah. Uh, Great idea. Roll right down the hole. Hmm. Or maybe they mean you roll through the boxes. I mean, if that's the case, why is it right in front of the hole? All right. I'm not going down there yet. I want to see what the other direction has for me. Hmm. Death. Probably. Although that's honestly in every direction, let's be real. Yeah, because this is from software. See, now, I can agree with you on that. Huh. Okay. I don't trust you not to stab me. Good sword, oh good sword. Therefore, time for brief respite. I don't... I honestly do not trust it. Try rolling, and then friend ahead. I don't know, I guess maybe they were peaceful. But this, uh, this game has taught me to not trust... Grace! Hmm. 
liar ahead. Ain't no way I'm making that jump. If only I had a friend, think carefully ahead. Oh, uh, like in case you want to try and make that. I, I can't get Torrent. If I could, maybe. Huh. Not making it that way. Either way, I will take a grace. So will we go back to the other area, or are we going to just explore this a little bit? <sighs> well, now that we have a grace unlocked, I can get back here at any point, so I'm willing to go okay. wherever now. And let's just check the... There's still Volcano Manor. Oh! Out uh, this way. And, okay. like, whatever else is down in here. Okay, first, let's check on the spot to make sure we kill those three bosses for the Jar Champion. Alright. I think that's one of the last things we really have in Kaelid, as far as I know. Like, outside of, like, there just being absolutely nothing. <laughs> or, like, in, like, hidden shit, or later shit that pops up after a certain time. And certain time is after the DLC comes out. I mean, like, maybe there's an event that happens in the capital that might trigger stuff in uh, okay, these areas okay. later. What keeps dying? Uh, those self-destructing, like, centipede balls? Oh, okay, those. I forgot the word thing. Oh, can I hit you? I can hit you. Enjoy. And you're dead. So what's your favorite monster or enemy in this game? Uh, in this one specifically? Yeah. Hmm. That is a good question. I'm going to ignore, like, the dragons and stuff, just because they're dragons. I'm not... There's not... <laughs> there's not much to talk about. It's a dragon. Yeah. Um... Ah, man. Uh... So, like... I, I'm going on this just based on, like, not having any background on the character's details or anything like that, right? Oh, that helped me. Um, I want to say it's the god skins, because they, I don't know what they are and what they could be is fascinating. I kind of, and this is also in, in like Dark Souls, but I just think the basilisks look cool. The big googly eyes. Yeah, but I kind of like the whole idea of they have eyes. But they're not really eyes. Yeah, they're the fake eyes. They're the same eyes that you would see on, like, uh... The back of a butterfly. Yep. Okay, apparently we never did fight them. Okay, cool. All right, then. Well, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. Sword of Swords, where are you? Sword of Swords, give me strength beyond strength. Horak! Hor Horak! Oh! And you just remember these will all be randomized, so. Yep. Okay. One down. I think Is he going to give me something? He does give me something. All right. A little yeah, less than I, I two think, grand. I think the third one usually gave me the most trouble. What is this pompous guy? What? Oh, it's a it's a girl unless it's just a guy with long hair. Mm. It's oh. it, it was the it was the fucking blindfold that threw me there. Cuz I thought it was like swished sideways hair that covered the face like the eyes and I'm like what is this? Female. 
old female if that voice is anything to go by. Ooh. Oh, that is a cool scythe weapon. Oh no, it's that one! Oh no! What? It's the one that keeps me from using flasks! Oh no! Come on, wear off! Wear off! Oh. Um, use yes. your anti Drink, drink. Use your anti tarnish magic. Easier said than done. Also, it's not equipped, and I think oh. it's intelligence based. Damn it. Here she goes. Yes. Woo! Okay. That got me really worried there. Oh. I was really worried there. Okay. So, who will the third adversary be? Looks like some kind of samurai. Samurai boy. Ooh -hoo -hoo. His name ain't Jack, though. So he just ain't as good. Uh, is it a samurai pizza cat? He does not seem to have ears, unfortunately. Mm. You know, I tracked down the NES game of that a few years ago, and it's not half bad. I'm glad you like it. Ooh. And one more hit. One I was more out hit. of stamina. Ooh. Ooh. That hit me. I would have been in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Be impressed by me, great jar. Yeah. Great Jar's Arsenal. Hmm. What is that? It's a talisman. What does it do? Va oh, it's an upgrade. Okay. Uh, Charm resembles a Great Jar overflowing with weaponry. Vastly boosts maximum equipment load. The Great Jar grants this talisman to their warriors. Carry as much as you can. Grow big and strong. Cool. So how much does it improve our load? Uh, give me one second and I can tell you. Get rid of this one. So, I think it might be percentage based. But currently, uh, the original one would give us 82, would boost us to 95. Ooh. So you'd be looking at 8 plus 5, 13 extra units worth of weight. Nice, nice. This one gives eh, about three more. So, 15? Mm, oh, oh, yeah. Also nice. Yeah, about 15. It's not as much better as I would have thought, considering what we had to go through to get it. Yeah. Well, now that I'm going to assume I can't open this either, huh? Oh, I can. Huh. Maybe you can do it now that you. Well, I before the uh, DLC wasn't done, or maybe, maybe this is hmm. before. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Ah. Uh, so this is DLC now. Well, this was the the uh, free update that opened up the coliseums. Mm, okay. Okay. So yeah, this wouldn't have been open when we were up here last, but now that uh, now that the coliseum update came out, it is. Mm. All uh, right, well, that's done. That loose end has been tied up. On the next episode of Elden Ring, do you want to explore Volcano Manor? Uh, well, we got to explore down here first because we have not looked what's down here at all. Uh, we just circled around the edge. So, onward to the next episode. Onward ho.